OK, so here we go. We have a, a point on the unit circle, and what, or not a unit circle. That is, we have a coordinate point, right? And on this coordinate point, they want us to find all the six trigonometric functions. So we know it's not in the unit circle, because the unit circle has a radius of 1. And this point is not going to fall within a radius of 1, as we're going to sh quickly show here in a second. But it's a coordinate point. So the main important thing is let's graph this coordinate point, right? Let's see where this would be. So I'll go over 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then up 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. OK, so our point's going to be somewhere right around there. Now, to find the six trigonometric function, since it's not on the unit circle, that's going to be a little more difficult. But the, we learned other ways to evaluate trigonometric functions. And actually, the first way we learned how to evaluate trigonometric functions, said that really, really quick, was with the triangle. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to create a triangle out of this. And to do that, i got to make sure, though, I create a right triangle to use my trigonometric functions, and also that I'm going to have an angle. Now, I just don't want to create any angle in any right triangle. I want to be able to use a central angle. If you remember, it's going to be an angle off of um, your, the center in your Cartesian coordinate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line to there to create my angle. Because remember, a lot of times we, we used our angles as our central angle. Then what I'm going to do to create a right triangle, I'm always going to take my coordinate point and draw a perpendicular line down to the horizontal or the x-axis. So therefore, that's going to be now my right angle. And now I'll have an angle, which we'll call theta. So therefore, I know the distance of this leg, which is 8, and the distance of this leg, which is 15. Now to find the radius, we know it's not 1, because if it was 1, I was on the unit circle. We're going to use Pythagorean theorem, which says 8, which says your leg squared plus your other leg squared equals your hypotenuse squared. So we have 64 plus 225 equals c squared. So we have 289 equals c squared root, and we get c equals the square root of 289. Uh, doing a little quick math in my head, I do not believe that could be reduced, but I could be wrong. But I'm going to leave it as the square root of 289. Uh, so now moving forward, what we need to do is evaluate our trigonometric function. So we have our angle theta. We have our right angle, and we have our hypotenuse. So now we can just apply what we know about trigonometric functions. Therefore, the sine of our angle theta, remember, is the opposite over the hypotenuse. I'm going to get to simplifying here in a second. Uh, the cosine of theta is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The tangent of theta is going to be the opposite over the adjacent, which will be 15 over 8. Now remember, we don't want to leave our answers with radicals on the bottom. We've got to make sure that we simplify them by rationalizing the denominator. So to do that, you'll multiply by 289 on the top and the bottom. And what you'll get is 15 times the square root of 289 divided by 289. Now when you do this enough, you can easily simple, simply say, oh, OK, I can kind of rationalize my denominator here. And I'll get 8 times two, square root of 289 divided by 289. And then this problem needs no simplifying at all. Now, we need to also determine our reciprocal properties. So the cosecant, which is the reciprocal of sine, is just going to be the reciprocal of this. So it's just going to be the square root of 289 over 15. Then we could take the reciprocal of secant, which is going to be the reciprocal of 289 over 8. And then the reciprocal of cotangent of theta, which is going to be 8 over 15. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find your six trigonometric functions when given a random point. Thanks.